Hello, campers. Today is day 10. And we are still working with our division story problem, problem solving. All right, let's get straight into today's question. Today's question number one. Dr. Cassie needs to pour exactly four milliliters of medicine into each bottle. She has 868 milliliters of medicine. How many bottles will she send? All right, so for our standard algorithm, we are going to begin with our four. And we are going to divide that from 868. We ask ourselves, four can go into eight how many times? We know that that answer is two. We know that four times two is eight, so that's what we are going to subtract. And we place our zero because eight minus eight is zero. We're gonna bring down our six. And now we say four can go into six. I know one time because four times one is four. We're gonna subtract that out. We have six minus four, which is two. We know that four cannot go into two. We're gonna bring down our eight. And we have 28. We ask ourselves four can go into 28. How many times? That's seven. Four times seven is 28. When we subtract that out, we get a zero. Therefore, my quotient is 217. In a window pane, we start with our divisor, four, and we make our box. And we think to ourselves, how close can we get to 868 using four? I know that four times hmm, 200 will get me 800. So I subtract that out. 868 subtract 800, I will get 68. I'm going to make another box. And I'm going to start this time with 68. And I need to know how close I can get to 68 using four. Hmm. I know that four times 12 will get me 48. I'm going to subtract that out. I know that eight minus eight is zero and six minus four is two. So I'm left with 20. I'm gonna start another box. This time I will start with 20 and I'm going to ask myself four times what can get me as close to 20 as possible. I know that that is five. I know that four times five is 20 when I subtract those, I get a zero. To get my quotient, I need to add all of the answers on top of my boxes. That's 200 plus 12 plus five. That's gonna equal 200 plus 12 plus five. I know that five and two is seven, 10 by itself is 10, and 200 by itself is two. My answer is 217. All right, moving on to our next question. My next question reads, Monique needs exactly six plates on each table for a banquet. If she has 312 plates, how many tables will she need to prepare? We are gonna be using our big seven and our first number we're gonna write is our divisor, which is six. Our dividend, we'll come over here, make our big seven, 312. 
Okay, so we ask ourselves, can six go into three? Hmm. Well, no, but I want to use the whole number here, 312. How close can I get to 312 using six? If I skip count by six, I have six, 12, 18, 24, 30. Okay, and remember our zero trip. So I know that six times five will get me 30, and I'm just gonna add a zero there to get 300. So six times 50. Okay, I'm gonna subtract those out, and I'm gonna get 12. Now I ask myself, six times what will get me as close as possible to 12? And I know that that is two. I will put my two here, subtract those out. 12 minus 12 is zero. I see that I am finished here. To get my answer, I'm gonna add these numbers on the side. I have 50 plus two, and that is 52. Therefore, my quotient is 52. Monique will need to prepare 52 tables. All right, let's try this again using multiply up. We're gonna start with our divisor, which is six, and we're gonna to try to get to 312. So six times what will give me as close as possible to 312? I know that six times five is 30. So I'm gonna add another zero. I'm gonna add a zero there and I'm gonna get 300. I'm almost at 12. I know, I'm sorry, that's 300. So I'm almost at 312. I know that six times two equals 12. If I add these up, I know that I will arrive at 312. Zero and two by itself is two. Zero and one, 10 by itself is 110 is 10. And then you have your 300 by itself, which is 312. That means I am finished here. To get my quotient, I simply add the numbers in the middle, which were my other factors. And that tells me that my quotient is 52, because 50 plus two is 52. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed our day 10 together. Be sure you complete your two independent problems and meet me for your one-on-one check-in. See you all soon. Goodbye.